I'm going to be talking about vertical reflection in regards to freeze, the freeze groups, freeze, freeze symmetry. Uh, vertical reflection is often uh, listed as the third one of the freeze groups, although it doesn't really matter where it is on the list. It's vertical reflection. So what you do with vertical reflection is you start with a unit. You define the vertical axis it's going to reflect across, and you reflect it. So the pattern in this case would continue like this. And what you're going to notice is that uh, the pattern is growing horizontally, but we don't look at that to define it as, a, as what group it's part of, because what you're looking at is the line that it's reflecting over, and in each case between units it's reflecting over this vertical line. You don't want to confuse it with um, translation, which also grows horizontally, uh, because translation looks like this. And what we're doing is, with vertical reflection, is this. So it definitely creates a different pattern. Because you've got this line in the middle, what it lends itself well to is uh, being made from cut paper an accordion book. So to make a nice little accordion, I'll fold it in half. Just take one half of what's left and fold that in half, then turn it over and fold the other part in half. And now I can make a nice little asymmetrical design, which will show vertical reflection from the paper folding. And here it is. So what's also really nice about this is that then it lends itself well to be uh, become paper dolls. And um, I like paper dolls, of course. I used to know this wonderful art teacher in New York City named Geraldine Uriel, and she would make uh, these wonderful paper dolls with her students. And inside the bodies of each of the paper dolls, she would have them depict... Uh, the children depict their family members and, you know, maybe a pet or pets, and they were just wonderful. So here's my paper doll. Remember, when you're making paper dolls, you need to keep areas on the sides from being cut so that they stay together. And there's my vertical reflection paper dolls. Okay, I think that's it. It's a pretty straightforward symmetry group, vertical reflection.